Bekeng Efitiring Monaho Rands with Sense, Rukopanele Felicity Guest. Meeno, Yadili Mozart 52. Lenyalo Lahai, Lenel Nale Matata. Ibile, Halia Fela Hantle Hohang. Munna Omoshadi Lekatela MP, O Makata. Rukopaneliana Ante Alegahu Ejetayena, Libana Bahai, Baba Shanu Piru. Haholo Morawa Hai ya Kulang Kelelong. Kenna Owen Manamela Mohan. Hari Boning Horena, Ibn Meino, Akaeta Rents with Sense. Reto la pili ka pale ya Felicity Guest. Ya na leng mathata a tshelete ka bakala ya hodimo le tlase. Magotleng a lwantsana le ntata bana ba hae. Tsena tsohle, di ka dile mohlang a fumana molaetsa ka email ho tsa ho monna wa hae a mofa ditokomane tsa ho mhlala. Emba monna wa hae o mohladile ka bo mmenemene ho bolelang hore ho hlala na hona ho ne ho simula ho. Ka mora ho tobana le taba ena ya ho hlalwa ka botsotsi. Felicity o ile a tlamela ho hlala monna wa hae ka molao ho eketsa mathata a hae Felicity o ile a tlamela ho lonela ditokelo tsa bana ba hae go tla ha ntata bona a hana ho mofa tshelete ya ditlhoko tsa bona ka noko eo re neng re kopana le Felicity ka yona ene ese ele dilemo tse pedi ba hlalane emba monna o ne antsa a sokodisa ho patala tshelete ya ba Felicity ha a sebetse me mora wa hae ya sa itekanelang le yena o etsa hore ho bethata hore felicity a fumane mo sebetse ho bane o hloka tlhokomela nako yohle sena sile sa mo qobella hore a etse maqheka a mang a o fumana tshelete ka bakala mathata ana a mang a te o ne a bile a tebelo ntlo e o a hirileng bag fleet mo tsengwa ka pa ho bane o ne a hlole a ho patala tshelete ya rente bana re personi Zij is schuld of haar schuld kan betalen niet, wiens die feit dat zij niet onderuit ontvangt niet, gaan dit niet die oplossing omdat zij niet kan betalen verbeteren. Is dit gaan niet veroorzaakt dat zij niet hoeft te betalen haar schuld omdat zij niet onderuit ontvangt niet. Daarom is het belangrijk om te weten dat schuldpaymente moet betaald worden. Het is in termen van die nationale krediet, wat waar daar die schuld aan gegaan is, en daarom moet het zo nagekomen worden stipteren. Leha ane analoge. Chelete ya ona ine ifokola hore ho be le botsitso ba chelete bo phelong ba hae hore a tsebe ho iphidisa ka bonyane bo aneng a bo fumana o ile a lokela ho etsa diphetoho tse itseng bo phelong ba hae tsela engwe ya ho ba le bo phelo bo ka khonang ho bo patalla ke ho fokotsa ditlhoko tsa hao ha ho batla ho kala ho fokotsa ditlhoko tsa hao dintla tseo o ka disebedisa ho ithusa ke tsena le kola di tlhoko tsa hao le dintho tseo o di batlang me o shebe hore tse bo hlokwa ke difeng ha o se o tseba hore dintho tse bo hlokwa o phelong ba hao ke difeng ho ba bo bebe ho nka ka to hore o fokotsa di tlhoko difeng jalo ka felicity e ka nna ya ba bana ba hao ba se ba hodile e bile ba itukusetsa ho ba le mahabona jalo wena o ka rekisa ntlo ya hao e golo wa ile o reka ntlo enyane to hela ho reka dintho tse seng bo hlokwa ha o se o tseba di hlokwa tsa hao le hore ke di fitse bo hlokwa bo ba bo bebe ho nka ditlato hore na o reka eng o to hela eng re ke isa tso hle tseo o sa di hlokeng ha o se o tseba di hlokwa tsa hao le hore ke di fitse bo hlokwa bo ba bo bebe ho kgetha dintho tseo o sa di hlokeng o be bo fatsa o phelo ba hao e tsa bo nnete ba hore dintho tseo o na le ntsona ke tseo o di sebedisang le tseo o di ratang fela e ke tsetse gore dintho di be bo bebe ho thata ho arohana le tseo o di ratang empa ha o fumana mo putso ka morao ka e utla o thabile jo le he re ke isa tso hle tseo o sa di hlokeng la beng o ka thabela tshelete e o tla e fumana ka mora mo sheba dintho ka tsela e fapaneng ho ithuta ho bona molemo wa ntho tseo o sa di hlokeng go di patalala bo phelong go ka o thusa ho tlwaela dipheto tse te na hana ka tso hle tseo o na leng tsona jolo ka metswalle le lapa bo phelo bo botle 
talente le bogoni bo itseng le nako tseo o natefetseng o phelong ba hao tsena tsohle le ka tlisa thabo o phelong ba hao o feta dintho tsa lefatsi ka bo khutshwanyane go bokotsa ditlhoko tsa hao go bolela hore o tlhoka go phela ka dintho tseo o di hlokang le tse bo hlokwa ho wena fela me sena se ka ofa khutso mo yengwa hao ha o bata dintlha tsena ka botlalo ka ba o batla ho shebella le nane ho lena hape etella friends with sense don't see all don't say eh ka ba facebook page ya rona e bang le rona hape ka morao ho papatso re bone hore na felicity o tla khona ho lokisa mathata a hae a molao le challenge Real amohela hape ho rent with sense. Re tsola pele ka pale ya Felicity Guest. Musadi ya ileng a sokola. A le ka ho qobella ntata bana ba hae hore. A patale chelete di tlhoko tsa bana ba hae ka mora hore ba hlalana. In respect of maintenance in your consent paper where you've settled your financial affairs, you will have a set out in that consent paper how you intend to pay for the maintenance of the minor children and also the rehabilitative maintenance of the the spouse sometimes not always and if the person doesn't pay in accordance with that consent paper it's been uh, that person is in contempt of court and remember that the the age of majority has changed in this country which means up in, uh, in the past uh, you only became a major which means a person who's got the ability to contract after the age of 21 Uh, it's been changed quite for quite some time now to the age of majority being 18 so there's no obligation uh, uh, for you to support your child um, once they become a major they are now considered to be an adult in our law and then the responsibility is on that child who's now an adult to claim maintenance from either the, the mother or the father uh, and the same applies uh, or slightly differently with a person who has a disability is particularly a, a mental disability Uh, then the the courts will intervene and they will establish a a curator with someone who's is charged with looking after the affairs of a person who can't look after their own affairs to then claim maintenance from other than the, the mother or the father rile ra etela felicity hape hore re lo bona di pheto ho tseo a di entseng bophelong ba hae ka mora o fokotsa ditlhoko tsa hae So downscaling for me meant that I had to move to a smaller house which meant I moving to a three bedroom house I would not fit four children plus myself into it. So it was very painful because we tried to embrace it and say well this is time and it's changed and there was that part of us that made it rational and reasonable but there was a lot of pain. Often people who downsize find it quite a traumatic experience in letting go because they attached to having to let go that stuff and there's either either guilt guilt feel guilty about it or there's blame or there's judgment particularly judgment from other people so they they hold on to it they don't let go My my interior decorating business has also is also now in transition because going from manufacturing most of my stuff I'm having to subcontract a lot of it out uh the smaller things I do still make so I have half the equipment that I had set up in my garage which is really squashed but it works ditaba tse monna ke gore pele sithi o atlehile ntweng ya ha ya o fumana chelete ya ditlhoko tsa bana ho tsa ho ntata bona The best thing that has actually happened to me is that I got paid all my arrear maintenance. It came about a couple of days before our final hearing in criminal court. And I think that it was a possibility that in criminal court if he was found guilty of intentionally withholding maintenance from me that he could have been sent to jail. Le ha ho ne ho le thata ha holo. Ka te long. Felicity o ile a tleha ka baka la sebete sa hae. Lo ba le mamello. My my advice to to women is not to give up. 
because we do get worn down and the system doesn't seem to work for us. It just takes a long time. So the more women that give up, the more men know this and we will continuously being financially abused. But my advice is don't give up. We can't just sit back and depend on lawyers and we don't have, most of us don't have the money to do that. Ha e ba lo wena o motswadi ya tshonang le Felicity ya sna ntshelete ya ho patalla le qweta o tlama ho ema ka maoto me o ikopanye le legotla ka buena ho fumana thuso hore o tsebe ho fumana tsela ya molao e o loketseng dintla ke tsena ha e ba lo wena o hlalana le monna hona jwale me monna wa ha o hana ho ntsa tshelete ya ditlhoko tsa bana molao wa rona o ka utsusa o ya ka molao wa magistrate court wa bo 58 o ka ngorisa original ka pa temporary court hore o fumane temporary court order ba ka ntsa tshelete ya ditlhoko tsa bana me o ka batla le hore o fumane thuso ya ho patalla maqweta le ditshenyahelo tse o o bileng le tsona ha e ba ho hloka ha ha le khotla le se le o file le ngole le na la nakwana o le boloka ho fotlela tsohle mapapeng le tlhalano di fela me monna o tlamea ho patala go ya ka mo le khotla le molaetseng ha e ba le se le tlhalane me e mongwa lona o hana ho patala tshelete eo le khotla le itseng ha e patala o ka ngodisa hape hona le khotleng le tshwanang mo kobella hore ha e patala o ka ngodisa warrant ya execution o thipa e tshonang le mntlo ya hae ka pakoloe ha thipa ena e se e rekisitswe ke mohlanka wa molao le legotla o ka fumana tshelete ya ditlhoko tsa bana mono kapa o ka ngodisetsa ganashi order mogolong wa monna hore a patalle tshelete eo a leng morao ka yona le ya gwedi le gwedi Sena se bolela hore le khotla le qobella hore tshelete e itseng mogolong wa hae e hule gwedi le gwedi ho thusa ka ditlhoko tsa bana ba hao o ka fumana le court order ya hore batho botlhe ba kolo tang tata bana ba hao ba patale wena e seng yena ho thusa ka ditlhoko tsa bana e bile o ka qobella le batswadi ba monna eno hore ba patale tshelete ena ha e ba yena a hlolela empa tsena tsohle ditlamea ho etswa ka molao me o tla fumana thuso le khotleng la magistrata le haufi le mo o ilante ha o batla tsena ka botlalo etela website ya rona rentswithsense.co.za ka pa facebook page ya rona dula o hopola hore o le monna ka pa mosadi ha le se le hlalana e mongwa lona a ka nna a itshireletsa ka molao me sena se ka etsa hore le senyehelwe ke nako le tshelete hangata ditabatse a manang le molao ka pa le khotla ha re ke be di felle hantle jwalo ka ena ya felicity e neng e le thata ha hole after my ex husband paid the lump sum of a rear maintenance he immediately stopped paying maintenance because In his opinion, I'm extorting money from him and he will apply for a reduction and in due course I will hear from him. I in the interim went to the maintenance court and I've already instituted um, proceedings against him, but my first maintenance hearing is at the end of May. So by then I'm four months in arrears again. Leha Felicity a qeteletsi a fumana tshelete ka ofela. Ho tsa ho ntata bana bakeng sa ditlhoko tsa bona ha ya gona ho patala dikoloto tsa hae ka ofela ntho e na hani sang felicity ka thata holo ke lefula sethwatwa le tshoreng mora wa hae a seng a hudile ka baka la lefulena ha a itekanela ka kelelong me sena se etsa hore e be motho ya moholo ya tsa khoneng ho itlhokomela the near future for Dylan is to get him into a sheltered employment but tricky because there's no way in this particular area um that caters for pe- intellectually challenged adults so i'm going to have to get creative and either find a school or approach a corporate that has um a social component like checkers or somebody 
Rilera kopanya Felicity le setsibi sa gona sa chelete hore a fumane mahlale a tle a tsebe go matata a hai a chelete a ka mo How long do you think it's going to take for you to pay off your credit card? I think my months are 28 and 55 or 55,000 and then Okay, and at the so, two and a half thousand rand a month, you're looking at roughly three. So two years. Two years. Yeah, but I, I, I mean, you know, it's so difficult to say. When I do have extra money, money if I have a good month, it. then I put it in there. You put it into it. I met with Mishvika and post divorce, there is a bit of a debt carryover, and discussing my financial situation with her, um, she did give me some valuable advice, and that was to address my biggest interest bearing debt first and get rid of that. And then she agreed that my plan of action to downscale and reduce my expenses will certainly allow me to reduce my debt within a year or so. Kamurao Shebanale ma emo ahaya achelepe. Felicity uila kopanale mungu kisi waro na wame kujo. Hore atzebo mfuma na kujo mwoyeng. Hare tzoleng pele hare kutla papato. Real amohela hape ho rents with cents. Le nane ho le re thusang hore re khone ho bua ka mathata a rona a chelete. Ka jeno re ntse re bua ka Felicity Guest. Me ya hurisang bana ba hai ba ba hlano a le mong. Ka mora o se bana le ditla mora o tsa ntwa e telele. A le ka o fumana chelete ho tsa ho ntata bana ba hai. Felicity o tla mea ho lukisa bo emo a me kutlo a hai. Ha re beng moho le yena ha ko bana le batho ba bang. Patonang Liena, Mane Ho Mukisuarona, Eling Possibility Coach Yarona. I'm going to use a, an exercise that will help us to kind of deepen learning. It's a short visual visualization exercise. It's, it's nothing sinister. Uh, I'm not going to hypnotize you. So, I need you to get comfortable on the couch. Now what I'd like you to do, while your eyes are closed, become aware of a, a bright light protruding from your body. This light is, is so bright that it shines right through this building. And so slowly start to move up that beam of light and eventually you're actually moving through this building, through this home. You realize that you're in the darkness of space. You notice a second beam of light crossing yours and now slowly cross over to that second beam of light where it intersects yours. You now begin to move down this beam as you see the earth getting closer. This beam of light is taking you to the front of your home 20 years from now. And there's a familiar voice that rings from the inside that says, hold on, I'm on my way, I'll be there in a moment. And eventually when the door opens, you realize why this voice is so familiar. It's you, 20 years from now. You have come to ask some very important questions. And so the first question is this, future self, what has enabled you to get to where you are today. Future self, if there is a name that you are known by, a name that embodies who you are and what you've become and what you stand for, what would that name be? Begin to thank your future self for the time, for the insight, for the wisdom, and start to make your way out of that home. I'm going to count back from three to one. Eyes wide open. Uh, Felicity, who did you meet? Quiet, at peace, older me. So, so tell me, what, what came up in answer to the question? What's enabled you to get to where you are now? Trust in the process that is life. I don't spend enough time on me. So she was guiding me to make more time for me, that I am as important, more important than everybody else. 
if you're at the back of the queue or what we call last on your own shopping list and sometimes not on the list at all, is that you, you actually become useless to the people that you're actually trying to serve because you're running, you're literally running on empty. So what does that mean for you? What, what does that look like in, in real terms, looking after yourself? The trick is, is that whatever the activity is, whether it's going to have a cup of coffee on your own or with a good friend, whatever the activity is, is not important. Being clear on why it's important is critical. Because once we understand the why, the how we figure out for ourselves, we'll find what works for us. What is the name of your future self, by the way? Blessed. Blessed. Okay. If blessed was sitting here opposite you right now, what acknowledgement would blessed be giving you? She would take my hand. And do what? And she would clasp it and she'd look me in the eyes and say, it's okay. You can feel pain. It will pass. I get she'd also be saying, you are courageous. And, um, and she'd be doing that with a huge amount of compassion. Almost uh, in, a, in a very safe container. My coaching session with Gary was absolutely fantastic. It gave me perspective on marrying the future with the present which I experienced a little bit differently to goal setting um, because it was more personal and it wasn't materialistic. Um, and he also reminded me that how important I am in my own life and to put myself first because for 28, 29 years, I've actually put myself at the back of the queue and I just got further and further away from the front of the queue as the years went by. And it was quite liberating to be pleased about putting myself in the front of the queue and not doing it with resentment or reservation. Part of the gift that Felicity has and the opportunity that she has, and it's an example of, of how a trauma or a bad experience actually makes us privileged because we're better off, we've learned, we've learned from it, we're moving forward, we've integrated the lessons into our way of being and so she's ideally placed to help somebody else who's experiencing the same thing or may experience it in the future. Uh, she has a story to tell and I, I hope to read that story. Felicitiki emu ngwa basadibana, beo rekaba bitang di superwoman, me mata abona, eo batu babang basa lemoheng, ata dula alite. Ibang liruna hape beking etang, Haritso la pele ka paletsa batho ba bang me re le ka o fumana dikarabo tsa mathata a bona a chelete ho e kalla khwebo e ka bantho e nngwe e o ka iketsetsang bokamoso ba chelete bo chatse me wa iketsetsa friends with sense ho fihlela beking etlang ke nna owen manamela mogane salanghantle dot sense